why are so many young people, fit people, dying of sudden cardiac arrest, massive heart attacks? People like Puneet Raj Kumar, like Siddharth Shukla, and so many other people. This is not a coincidence. Like, I have lost two family members in a similar manner over the last four months, and my friends also have. And this, this is increasing in number of of cases. And this is not a coincidence. There is a reason why I believe. Uh, that this is happening that I want to share with you because uh, you may prevent this happening to yourself or people around you. Um, and the reason is subclinical myocarditis. Now, people who have been exposed to COVID-19, whether they had severe symptoms or not, whether you landed up on the ventilator or not, whether you know uh, you, you were asymptomatic, whatever it is, if you were exposed to COVID-19, there's a high chance you could have something called as a subclinical myocarditis. A subclinical myocarditis means that there are no symptoms, but your heart is inflamed, your heart is irritated. It's an irritable heart wall. Um, and any small stress, any uh, you know exertion can trigger it into a severe sudden um, cardiac arrest. And, um, and COVID-19, both as the virus and the immune response, has caused this kind of inflammation in many parts of our bodies, not only the heart, but also the GI system, causing gastritis, causing loose motions, vasculitis of the skin, a lot of these uh, these things. And plus, over the last two years since the pandemic, we've had a very sedentary lifestyle. We've been doing work from home and the gyms have been closed and all our fitness routines have suddenly stopped. And as soon as things open up, there is this urge to get back to our you know, fitness routine, to get back into shape, to get back to being healthy. And when you have subclinical myocarditis, you can suddenly strain your heart so much that it can trigger it to have massive cardiac arrest. Um, there's a lot of scientific literature and data that supports this as well. And uh, one, of, one of the articles that I was reading says that up to 60% of people who survive COVID-19 can have subclinical myocarditis. And the incidence of heart attacks in people who have been exposed to COVID has gone up tremendously high. So guys, my advice to you, and I really urge this, is that don't push yourself so much to get back into your fitness routine. Don't push yourself so much you know, to, to get back into your shape and, you know, and strain your heart because we don't know whether you have subclinical myocarditis or not, whether I have subclinical myocarditis or not. It's not easy to know that because it's subclinical. You don't get to know the symptoms, but sometimes you can have some warning signs like, um, you know, sudden shortness of breath, vague chest pain, palpitations where you can feel your own heartbeat. Don't neglect that as a little bit of a strain that you did while playing sports or something like that. Go to a cardiologist, get an echocardiography, rule out myocarditis. There are ways to prevent this. There are lifestyle changes that can be done, uh, you know, to, to, to make it better. Uh, and, uh, and you know, if, if for another six months or nine months or a year, you don't get back into shape, it's not going to be the end of the world. But if you push yourself too much, and you have subclinical myocarditis, it could be the end of the world for you and your family members. So stay safe, stay alert, stay vigilant about your body and, and be careful guys.